Saint Bernadette. Subiru was asked by a soldier in Nivers when the Prussian army was about to attack if she was afraid. And she said, No, I only fear bad Catholics. And then he asked again if there wasn't anything else that she was afraid of. And she answered, no, nothing. We need to understand our responsibility as Catholics. We've been given much and much is expected of us. We have a very big responsibility. The outcome of the events in our world depend on our fervor and our devotion. The more we can be devoted to God wholeheartedly, accepting the entirety of our faith, the more conversion will be brought in our world. And when we pray the whole rosary every day, one of the most beautiful fruits that is born from this is a love for Jesus in the Eucharist, a strong faith in his true presence in the Eucharist. St. Don Bosco had a vision of a big ship, which was our mother church, in the midst of a storm and a battle. And he saw that there were two pillars that were providing the ship of our mother church providing her with safety and stability and it, one pillar was the Eucharist and the second pillar was Mother Mary and her rosary devotion to Mother Mary the greatest devotion the devotion par excellence is the Holy Rosary and it's this prayer that she keeps mentioning. It's the most important weapon against all evils. Pope Pius X also mentioned that the reign of Satan is there because of bad Catholics. We Catholics have to respond with great devotion, with the entire rosary and adoration of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament. I really believe that it is the desire of our Blessed Mother Mary and of Jesus that there be perpetual adoration established throughout the world. How wonderful it would be if every village would have a chapel of perpetual adoration. This would change everything. It is a constant battle to remain faithful. But when we are faithful in our prayer, then our faith becomes stronger and stronger. Our devotion to Jesus in the Eucharist becomes stronger and stronger. And it's just this automatic thing that we want to spend time with him every single day. If all of us could find that living faith in Jesus in the Eucharist and be able to sacrifice an hour every day and even an hour of the night for adoration. We could bring an era of peace in our world, true peace, lasting peace, the only peace that Jesus can give. He is the Prince of Peace. We pray that we as Catholics can understand that we are relatives of the Most Holy Trinity. We receive Jesus in the Eucharist and his body, blood, soul, and divinity flows through our veins. We are related to God. We are his children. We pray that we can rise up to the call.